I feel like every female I meet, they want you to spend money on them from the beginning, from the get go. They don't. It ain't even the female's fault though. It's the dude's fault. Certain dudes that they spend money as soon as they meet you. So it make it make all females. It make a standard. They set a standard for every dude. Like right. spend money, spend money, because this dude did it. So it's the dudes that got the money that's fucking up the game. It's really not even the females. It's the dudes that got the money that's willing to spend all that money on the first time they meet a female. <laughs> I ain't doing that, but I don't mind paying, taking you on a date and all that, but just paying bills and all that, fuck no. Let me ask you this. Do you think women are missing out on good dudes just because of that mindset? I feel like females not missing out because they don't want it. They're not looking for no nigga. They looking for the money. So they not missing out on nothing. You can't, they really not missing out on nothing. You can't get them $130 when they ask for it, the first time you meet meet you, you ain't the nigga for them. They want the nigga that's gonna break that break bread right then and there. So if you ain't got that, it is what it is. So I don't think they missing out. But like I said, the dudes that got all that money, they fucking it up for them niggas that ain't really got it like that, and niggas that's trying to fuck with a female genuinely because females don't want no genuine nigga no more. They just want some money. Hey man, you know what though? I'm pretty sure he's doing really well for himself with all of the content creation and everything like that. And I'm pretty sure a lot of women know who he is because of the content creation. So naturally, when they come across a young man like this, they see he got the chains on. He got on the designer clothes. He got on the uh, the medical designer shoes, you know, the big ass fat shoes and stuff like that. They see dollar signs. They not looking for no real connection. So I definitely understand where the brother coming from. They not looking for love. They looking for that money, on, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say to y'all dudes who are known, like you dudes who are known. See, I would rather get money behind the scenes so no female could ever just come at me with a purpose. Like, she like, that nigga got money. I'm going to come here, make him fall in love so that I can get the bag. See, when they don't know you got the bread and they coming at you, at least you can almost feel like it's, it's genuine. But then again, she still might know you got that bread. She might have did a, bra a, a, a background search. You never know. But it got to be real disheartening to be a rich nigga. And just knowing that every time you have a, a, a situation with a girl, that it's more than likely that she's looking to come up. <sighs> That's sad, man. That's somebody's child, bro. He don't deserve that. <laughs> you know what's annoying? You ever have a date? A regular old date. And the girl like, I had so much fun. And you're like, yeah, it was cool. She's like, damn, you had no fun. Now I got to be honest with you. No, but it was cool, though. You know what I'm saying? And in my mind, I'm thinking, like, I can see how you had fun. You got ready. You got picked up, wined and dined. Um, some good jokes told. You was laughing. And at the end of it all, you got dropped right off at your front door. <laughs> like, I can see how that was fun. Me, on the other hand, I, I'm on the grind. This shit is about the grind. It wasn't nothing fun about it. You're not even a fun person. You're not funny. You ain't make me laugh. You know what I'm saying? I just spent $300. Like, nah, it, it ain't fun, but it was cool because, you know, it, it, it it's the grind. It's going to pay off. It's going to pay off. Now, my definition of fun, it means me in the car. Like, now I'm going to remember this day forever. Like, I had a blast. I'm going to tell my friends, like, now that's what the fuck I'm talking about. Those are the type of dates that's, that's fun to me. That's just me though. And while we on this topic, girls be one the honest dude, but I'm learning. It's levels to that shit. Like, don't be too honest. Cause if you be like, like earlier today, I text this, I text this girl just checking on her. You know what I'm saying? She like, I'm like, you all right? She like, yeah, you miss me? I'm like, nah, I'm just checking on you. She like, damn, you don't miss me? What is there to miss? We ain't did nothing yet. You know what I'm saying? All I do is spend money on you. I, when we when we on the phone, like, you know what I'm saying? I be making you laugh. You not that funny. What is there to miss? Come on, like, let's make it make sense. Like, I can see if the box was crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna miss that. Now I miss you, yeah, because I know what come with it. But like, what I've experienced so far ain't shit to miss. Why are you being mad at me? Because you asking me questions and I'm telling you the truth. But I'm still messing with you though. So like, why are you even mad? Like, why are you beefing? Like, I'm I'm on the grind. I said, bro, if women really understood all of the work that goes into dating them and making that shit fun, they would really have a little more leniency. They would be a little bit more understanding, right? They would have empathy for men. Because though, at the end of the day, a man gotta spend his money just to see which female ain't gonna work for him.
think about that, bro. You taking these women out on dates and stuff like that. You really just spending the money to see what woman is not for you. Or basically you spending money in order to make her feel comfortable so you can get the draws at the end of the day, bro. And then if you don't get any of that stuff, she only had, it was only an upside for her. It was all downside for you. If you don't get what you was looking to get, you failed the mission and her mission was accomplished because not only did she get the free food, she got picked up, wined and dined, just like you said, and you the only person that got stuck like Chuck. You got the short end of the stick. Let's be real, man. You know what I'm saying? I can understand that. Like, as a man, you have to charm the woman, make her laugh. Now, that come natural to me. I'm going to make her laugh regardless. You know how I get down. Yeah. But for some... When do the women ever make you laugh on a date? <laughs> like, on God, bro. Like, man, I think for every 100 women, maybe, maybe one of them are funny. Let's be real, guys. Let's keep it real, man. Now, I know some of you women in the comments going to be like, I'm funny. I've been told I was funny. Are you really funny? Like, are you making your stomach hurt funny? Like, stop talking to me. I can't breathe funny. I'm crying funny. Come on, man. When the last time a woman made you cry? Because she was, you was laughing so hard, bro. <laughs> it never happens, man. <laughs> Let's be real, dog. All right. I don't even want to do this. I don't even... Well, don't do it. Do stuff like this. I feel like I have to make a video just to set the record straight. All right. Not because of my ego, but because of the truth. And since it's going around out there, I'm going to put it out there too. All right. Yes. Yes. I had a baby by your husband. <laughs> but if you wanted to have a conversation, that wasn't the way to do it. You didn't even want to have a conversation. I'm sitting here. Why was she? <laughs> she comes up as I'm. Um, having my lunch i had a, i had no idea about her that that's the that's the one thing i had no idea he had a wife at home i had no idea but instead of asking me questions you're gonna come at me like all loud and shouting in front of everybody and expect to have a productive conversation you didn't even want a conversation you just wanted to embarrass me but in the midst of it you ended up embarrassing yourself all right i'm not the one that committed to you Tyrone's the one that committed to you. I'm not married to you. That's something that you guys should have had a conversation about. But what did you do instead? You went ahead and you made assumptions and you tried to make me look stupid. But in, in the end, you made yourself look stupid. I think I know her. I don't understand why you <laughs> all have conversations like adults, especially woman and woman. You, you don't know what my backstory is. You don't know. You have no idea. So it's like, I don't. I just don't understand. I don't understand why why we can't do that. Nobody is perfect. I have my dirt. He has his dirt. And I'm sure as hell, no, you have your dirt. Because I heard something. You know what? I'm not going to. Oh, you heard that. some stuff about a woman you ain't know about? This is about setting the record straight. All right. No, I had no idea that he had a wife. I had no idea. But if you would have came at me in a different way, or maybe even say, hey, Sylvia, Sylvia, hey. Oh, I don't um, know her. Never mind. Can we talk? <laughs> sure. I'm open to talk. But what did you do? We had the camera. Like, hey, yeah, this is her. This is her. Like, do you, like, do you know how, like, stupid that is? Now, now you just made the situation worse. You made it worse for no reason. If you want to have a conversation, have a conversation. That's all I ask. Man. That's all anyone asks for. All right? So. Oh, no. That's all I got to say. I got to see the backstory. I, straight. I know what's going around, but... Mm. See, I'm trying. I understand your pain. I understand. But let's, let's talk. Let's talk. Woman to woman. If you're watching this video, on the record, my name is Sylvia. I'm open to talk to you, but not if you're going to come at me that way. If you're going to come at me that way, then there's no point of a conversation. That's all I got to say. All right, guys. So, look, check this out. Most of the time when I find a clip, I listen to, like, the first five to ten seconds just to get a feel for what it's going to be about. Then I pause it and I save it to when I get in front of my computer and the camera so I can react to it. So, I didn't know that there was uh, going to be a backstory to this. So, I pause to go and find and look for the original clip of when she said the woman came at her. I found it. We finna watch it now, bro. 
So I'm here at the mall, right? Because there's this chick that's been calling my husband's phone claiming that she done had a child from him. Now, I know my husband ain't been stepping out on me, so I'm just going to get it straight right now with this chick. She's sitting right here. Hey, what's up, Ma? How you doing? Uh, can I help you? Your name's Sylvia, right? You the one that's been calling my husband's phone? I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> Let me sit down and have a word. I'd have stood up right there because you ain't finna get one off on me. You been calling my Ooh. husband, right? Ooh. You know who my husband is. Like, you're really coming I'm here recording this too me. because I'm going to blast you all on social media. All right, can you put the camera No, ma'am. No, ma'am. We're going to have a conversation ma without the camera. No, ma'am. We're we going to have a conversation with this camera. Okay, this we're is We're going to have a conversation. I don't right care. Privacy. You invaded my You living in some weird ass times. Husband. So you tell me you don't know who Tyrone is. Tyrone who? Tyrone, my husband. That you've been calling, claiming and that you got a baby from him. said that he has a wife? Well, honey, now you know that he's all right, a... All right, all right. I don't know who you are. So, Can you please leave no, the camera No, ma'am. I'm invading your privacy like yes. you've invaded my damn life. All right, all right. All I know, he doesn't have a wife. So he has a wife and that is me. You're irrelevant. He has a wife right, and that is me. Honey, I ain't wearing it because, because right now I'm mad as hell at him because so of what's going on with you. I mean, back to me. All right. You say you didn't know he had a wife. Okay, cool. All right. So tell me this. When did y'all meet again? Yes, it is because that is my husband, girl. Listen, he keeps coming to me. Clearly, he has no home, so he's coming home, which is me. So tell me about this baby y'all so called got. Tell me about this baby. It is all of my business. It is all of my business. Just so you won't be getting no child support from us, baby. I pay our bills. I thought the nigga name was Kevin. From us, baby, because I pay our bills. I just want to make sure that you know that. Yes, you What you scared? You're gonna have an adult conversation with a real woman. You're invading my life. You know what? Where you going? Go <laughs> she is so scared. She's home. scared of the truth. You got her waiting on me. I told him I'm going to handle this. He told me please, where you were. I'm here on your lunch break. What? Have him have a conversation with me. Why are you coming to me? I don't She's even scared. know who you She's are. Scared. Scared. She's scared. That's somebody child, bro. trying to escape but I ain't done <laughs> 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 whoa I'm not even thirsty but what the problem is is you think you can have kids from other people you keep coming in my business yes ma'am you don't have no business well you can't even handle your business at home you can't even handle at home get the damn camera let me tell y'all something her name is Sylvia and as soon as I tell her she's saying I can just be posted online she is giving it all up as long as you got the right amount of money. I said what I said. Bye, Sylvia. Keep hoeing, sis. Keep hoeing. Yeah, it looks good on you. Oh, earth is ghetto. I want to leave. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, right, bro, first and foremost, <laughs> you got to know the rules of engagement. Fellas or ladies, if you're watching this, if somebody comes towards you in this manner the best thing that you could do is stand your ass up and get into a defensive position just in case you gotta you know what i mean bob and weave about a situation and put them hands on something because that's a situation that i never want to be in i've seen people get approached like that and then get molly whopped, get their block knocked off Never gonna put myself in that position. I'm standing up off the rip because we finna have a conversation. Standing up, keep your hands by your side. Matter of fact, do jumping jacks so I can see your shit. You see what I'm saying? But this was a hot ghetto mess right here, bro. All around, up and down to sundown. This was a hot ghetto mess right here, bro. The girl said, we ain't paying you no child support. I don't know if she noticed or not, but the way the child support system is set up, there is very much so a possibility that you will be cutting the check. Because if this baby is born and the paternity test comes back that that is indeed that man's child, I think you do run the risk of having to pay child support, bro. Because here's the thing. You know what? I ain't going to go into that because I just know if a woman becomes pregnant for a man, another man outside of a husband, the court look at that as if the husband is the father. Oh. It get messy out here, bro. I would have never did this. I would have never did this, man. I'm, 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 I'm big on not embarrassing myself or making a, uh, a scene, right? I like to be low key. I like to fly below the radar. 
This was crazy. I don't believe neither one of these women know. I don't believe that she didn't know that that man was married. Because, dog, y'all know what I found out. Man, these women is running background checks on niggas. Oh, yeah. They they looking at your license plate. Sending them to their home girl so that she could put it in the database to see what other vehicles, what other real property, marriage licenses. They are literally doing everything other than a goddamn DNA test on you. A genealogy, whatever they call it. It's getting spooky out here, fellas. Y'all better be careful. And listen, dudes be so bad at cheating that it's easy for a woman to find out if you're involved with another woman. Women will literally lie to themselves, dog. You ain't even got to lie. Man, there's no way this woman did not know this man was married, bro. Man, I know some of y'all dudes are super player and everything like that. You ain't that damn good, bro. Trust me. She lying to herself to convince herself that you not involved with another woman. But she knows another woman, bro. It ain't intuition. Y'all niggas be kind of slow. Y'all, so this man just tried to talk to me. And he had neck tattoos and his dress wasn't done. And it's just, I don't know. Today was his day on his dressing set. So I'm like, no. And then he go across the street and he go in this jewelry store. And the jewelry store is so expensive. They got a buzz you in. And then he looked back and he kind of like smelled. I don't know. But I don't care though, because I feel like they was gonna come out of nowhere like she's a gold digger and then it was one of them YouTube videos. No, not gonna catch me. So more of the story, don't judge him yet off the way he looked. You know, well judge him off the way he looked, but don't judge him off the way he looked. Like he dressed bummy and you kinda think he cute, talk to him. Cause he you feel me, it just might be a bum day, but he ain't a bum. Yeah. Hey yo, two points, right? First of all, that don't mean you're a gold digger or nothing like that. But at the same time, you're not supposed to judge a book by his uh, cover. Second thing is this. Just because he went into that store don't mean that nigga was about to go in there and buy nothing. Dude could have been like 50 cents said, use a window shopper. You know what I'm talking about? And thirdly, what I was going to say is this, man. Uh, one of my homeboys was telling me he tried to shoot his shot at this girl, right? And he could tell that she was low-key feeling him. But she kept saying, what a camera at? <laughs> Son, it's getting so bad with the content creation and the social media shit that these women be thinking y'all are trying to get content out of an interaction with them, bro. It's sad, bro. When he told me that, I was like, nigga, you dead ass serious? She was like, yeah, bro. She kept looking around and shit like, bro, I know you recording. What a nigga with the camera at? I said, wow, bro. It's getting horrible out here, man. But that's crazy to me. Watch how you what you said to me now. You gonna watch how you run your mouth at your uncle, but but you I, you can't even pull more women than me. Oh my mother, oh my mother, oh my soul. I love your nephew, but you can't see me, boy. Oh my. Say, dog, them young dudes be getting outside their body, bro. Listen, first of all, that man somebody child. You're not gonna disrespect him just because he got the bald head. Don't mean he can't pull them young ladies, bro. Don't don't even get it twisted. I know a couple bald head cats right now. You wouldn't want to leave around your wife. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> You would not want to leave them alone in the room with your girl, goddammit. You might come back and that's not your girl no more. You know what I'm saying? The why is silent. Yeah, take a look at that one. <clears throat> I dare you to text that man right now and ask him for $50 to go get your lashes done. And if he say no, baby, cut him off. Cut him off. She sound like she could be from New Orleans, but maybe she moved somewhere and been there a couple of years and she's starting to take on their accent, but she's still kind of holding on to her accent the best she can. And if you really close your eyes and listen closely, you could tell she might be from here. But then again, I could be totally wrong, but that's besides the point. What I'm about to say is this. Plot twist. Maybe the nigga going to tell you no because he think them ugly ass cumbrellas are hideous. And you ain't getting no $50 from me. I'm not investing in that degeneracy. God damn it. That's probably what it is, man. Because $50 for them ugly ass lashes that y'all be wearing. Nah, I don't think that's a good investment. Where's the return on that investment going to come from? Right? You doing all this here, man. I'm not trying to see that, man. Somebody child. 